hey girlies welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is Anna if you guys are returning hey love to see you guys here again it is currently 4 21 son las 4 21 de la tarde so like I always say we're always having a late start to our day you guys I always pick up the camera later on in the day typically I don't really do anything in the morning or afternoon I typically my my day starts in the evening <laughs> um because that's when everyone is available like you guys know I don't have my own personal car so it kind of pro it kind of stops me from going places I just don't like I don't really like um, the public transportation. It low-key scares me. So I just avoid it. We are having a late start to our day. Um, my aunt texted me. She was like, let's go to Home Goods today. I said, period. Um, and we don't typically go to Home Goods. Um, maybe like on the weekend, yes. Because you guys, Home Goods for us, it's like a good 25 minutes without traffic and a good 45 minute drive with traffic. So it is pretty far. Like it isn't like a Target. You know, you have a Target everywhere you go. So like there aren't Home Goods everywhere we go. When she invited me, I was like, definitely I'm a tag along i love home goods so let's see what we find at home goods make sure you guys keep on watching don't forget to like and subscribe we are here at home goods my aunt is doing some baby shopping we're looking at this mirror we have this okay so we had this one very similar but this one feels very cheap it's like i don't know but this one looks cute so i think we're thinking on getting this one so yeah this is what we're doing so far now you guys were looking at chairs oh okay Later. Yeah, we're looking at chairs now. My dear's testing it out. <laughs> I would just say it myself with this damn thing. But look, they have a good selection of chairs here. These are so cute. Oh my god, look at this one. Oh my god, look at that one. So cute. They have like the boucle. We came to the baby section, you guys. Oh my god, look at these. So f oh, look at this. Look at those. Yeah. Yeah. They're very similar to the other one. These are too big for two fifty. Yeah. Oh, those those are those are cute. Those will definitely fit him right now. Or like his clothes will fit on the racks. Oh, I see. Oh, unless you want to take these because I mean they're gonna last you longer. That's so cute. Look, you guys. Yo, oh my! What is that? The gray one right here. Oh my god, that is so cute. Is that what you're looking for? What? These, like, they're like shelves. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're like shelves that you hang on like the walls and stuff. You put like things there. Um, no, I was looking more for like acrylic or wooden. Oh. Like shelves. This is hella plastic. <laughs> Look, you guys, what my aunt just found. <laughs> it's for her dog. Oh, these are the ones for Aria to make her smile. Oh, really? What is this? It's like a puzzle. Oh. It's to make Arya smart, you guys. She's already smart. smart right? and you, heard, you heard my aunt. She said, Oh my god, look at these! We just bought her a new plate, though. I was debating on if I wanted to get her this. So she can match. Yeah, so she can match. Look. But honestly, she loves the rain. So I don't think I would really get that for her because she loves like running in the rain like something about the rain just gives her joy i'm like yeah i agree i'm obsessed with these wooden plates like, i'm obsessed the only thing is i don't like that they have um those like metal plates i personally don't like feeding my dogs on there aria did have a metal plate for like the very first couple months of her life but i really like them so we got her this new one it's a bamboo something from target it was so cute so we got her that but yeah, I don't really like those, but I really love like the stands that it comes in. I just bumped across these dog beds. This one's so cute, but it's ribbed. And I don't think they'll give us a discount even if it's ribbed. But look at this. So Arya needs a bed, but I've been waiting and waiting to get her an actual bed because she will grow like double her size right now. So you guys, I've been holding off on getting her the bed because of her size. Obviously she's gonna get a lot bigger. Um, she's only like four months, so you know, you can just imagine she's only four months and she's already like 40 pounds so she's only gonna get bigger and that's why i've been holding off on getting her a bed until she reached like a point where she was pretty big but she was still gonna grow but she was not that small anymore that's basically what i'm trying to say so we've been holding off on that but i think um in like the next month we're gonna buy her a bed i don't know if you guys have ever heard of ray dunn so she makes things like this girl on tiktok i'd be seeing how like the girls be fighting for the Ray Dunn. They be going down. They do have a lot of Ray Dunn here. They have like the syrup things. 
I forgot what other stuff we saw, but they had a, a good, a, they had a good amount of things. But yeah, girl, I be hearing that they be fighting. Oh look, they also have like this. It's on sale for four dollars. You guys look, they have literally more Ray done. And this is like the Valentine's Day collection, which is so freaking cute. Oh my god, actually her her mugs are cute as hell. Huh? Like what is this? This is so cute. They have a lot of cute things for you guys for Valentine's Day. Look, no more miss. We done XOXO. We just got out of Home Goods, you guys. My kid did some damage, so I didn't buy anything. Um, <laughs> but I obviously went along, and then we also had to buy some things for the baby shower. I'm gonna drive home, you guys, because my aunt isn't feeling well. Um, so we have to do these things. So we're about to head home, you guys. Bye. Hello, you guys. So it's like two-ish days since I picked up my camera. You guys saw I went to Home Goods, did some shopping there. So it is now January 12th, you guys. Today I woke up super early. Round of applause for me. Um, I woke up super early. I my as you guys know, my aunt is pregnant and she is I think eight months now. So she is due very, very soon. So obviously, um, I am gonna start taking her to work now because she'll only work for this month of January. And then she's off. So honestly, I just have to like worry about the next two weeks. Is it two weeks or three weeks? I'm not sure if it's two or three weeks left in this month. But basically, it's not going to be for long. My boyfriend went with me, so we went straight to the gym after that. Um, and then, of course, we got our Starbucks. I Sorry, you guys. I feel like I'm looking so much over there. But I do have to keep my eye on the dogs because Arya's getting a lot bigger. She's starting to learn that she is more dominant. And she knows that. So, you know. And also, I feel like she's hitting... Um, She's about to, I think, in my opinion, from her behavior, she's going to start her period soon. Because um, she is um, starting to be very dominant. Like, she does certain behaviors, you know, that males do when they are, with, like, showing their dominance. She does that. So, um, like, me and my boyfriend are thinking that we're obviously going to have to um, spay her. Because, obviously, we don't want Prince to be all, all up on her. And then um, also we don't want her to become aggressive or anything like that. And she's already like mean, you know. So just imagine her like on another level. No, we don't. We I, I wouldn't be able to do that <laughs> to her or to myself. And Prince sometimes he is starting to be more okay with her in his space. But there are times where like she's trying to play with him. But Prince is like not having it. So then he starts biting her. And my fear is that she's gonna get she's gonna like get fed up with him biting her and then he's gonna turn around and bite him. And that's a big difference, you know. So I just don't want them to bite each other, period. Obviously, when they play, like they nibble like at each other. Um, but sometimes Prince doesn't nibble at her. He like full on tries hurting her. So that's something we have to keep an eye on. Um, but I I'm very aware of like them, you know. Today we have a couple of things we have to do. So for starters, obviously you guys know I dropped off my aunt, so I do have to pick her up, but that's gonna be later on in the afternoon um now the only thing today we have to kind of do is i have to go and finish buying the things that we need for my aunt's baby shower um like the things where you go in the store for you know because like we bought balloons and everything like that on amazon i don't think i told you guys this going back to the whole like dog situation i don't think i told you guys this um but it happened uh, like a week ago or something like that and it has to do with miss aria from 11 to 12 they were alone just one hour one hour alone um and i had left my glasses on the table these are my everyday glasses, so I need them to drive at night. I need them to see, like, on the computer because my, eye, my eyes get super irritated fast. Um, and so all of these things, right, that's what I need them for. So they were left alone for an hour, and I mean Aria because Prince, he doesn't get into stuff like that. Like, he's much older, he knows better, like, things like that, but she doesn't. They're typically alone for longer than that. I guess she was trying to get onto the table because that day was Dia de los Reyes, so we had the rosca, and my grandma had put it in the middle, so I'm assuming she probably smelled the bread. She tried getting it, but instead she pushed my glasses down, and because she pushed my glasses down, she must have heard them fall on the floor, and then she picked them up and thought that they were a toy. I don't know why she thinks that, but she thought that, and she got it and treated it like it was a toy she's five months now so her teeth are pretty big they're really big actually um so she basically ruined them whenever um they hear my door open they run to me because they know like i opened the door because they were in the living room so i open the door and then i hear her rattling something in her mouth but i didn't put much attention to it because i'm like oh it must be like her toy or something i don't know she has a bone and it's like maybe like this big and it looks like an it has like an acute angle shape but it's shaped like a wishbone you know like the one that you break apart i thought it was that it sounds very specific so it sounded very similar to that i went to the restroom or whatever then when i got out of the restroom she drops out of her mouth and it was my glasses like it was my glasses and i was so 
I was so mad like I was just so angry at her because I was like Aria like you ruined my glasses I mean I was definitely ready for a new prescription but still it was so eh, it was so unnecessary like I was just so mad you guys uh, she got in so much trouble like she got in so much trouble. I was so frustrated So angry. I was all of the emotions like I literally had to call my boyfriend because like it's our dog You know my boyfriend's and I I had to call my boyfriend. And I was like look. I'm sorry to wake you up But I am so angry right now. So angry like <laughs> I Need to talk to somebody about this because I could not let it go and so then um and then so he hears me out or whatever and then he he tells me okay like don't worry i'll be there to pick her up so like that you know she can go to his house and play with her sister because they have still her sister from another letter but it's still her sister and they get along so well and they look so alike except that Ari is a lot darker she's really cute they're both super cute but she is the other one is one and she is like five months so they were born like not too far apart um because the mom had a lot of litters <laughs> she literally grabs prints from the neck and just manhandles him but by the end of the day i was over it because i was like you know what girl it's okay like it wasn't your fault it was definitely my fault for leaving it i guess so close to the edge where she just literally dropped it so you know she's still here being a little good girl a little crazy girl you guys want to see her let me show you guys her sit aria what happened What's going on? Oh, my little baby. Oh, my God. Oh, I love you so much. I love you so much. Okay. You have to get off, girl. You have to get off. You can't be on me. You know that. Because then, se va a aprovechar y así se la va a llevar. Ow! No biting. No biting. So, I think you guys kept seeing this box behind me. So, this was where we kept our Christmas ornaments. As you can see, they're emptied out. So this box is this box will be going to the trash, you guys, uh, because we have reorganized everything, and this is all trash. You see, it says Christmas decorations. So this is where we used to have them, but this box is beat up and it's way too big. So we definitely moved everything to a smaller box. This is our new Christmas box. We have our ornaments, our lights. We do have this trash bag on top of it because it's our um. It's our um, other ornaments. It just didn't fit in here. This is how we have reorganized it, you guys. All right, you guys. So it's currently 1238. I'm going to try something new right now. So right now we're going to head to Dollar Tree. Um, I have to go buy a couple of things. Well, maybe not buy, but just see if they have it there. And if they do, then I'll buy it. If not, but I, that's it. I won't go to another one because I don't like to drive and I don't like to be alone. And currently, I'm alone. I just want you guys to come along with me. Maybe like that I'll feel better. Um going out alone i have this weird thing where if i'm alone i feel uncomfortable i feel like people are looking at me i feel i don't know i feel just uncomfortable i wouldn't say anxious because like i just get like a little uncomfortable and i just get nervous and things like that we're gonna try we're gonna try to go alone um obviously i go to, i go alone to like starbucks i go alone um to like pick up my friend things like that but then like I'm with somebody when I go through the drive-thru I don't mind going alone because I don't have to get out of my car I'm in my comfort zone I'm like okay I don't care like I'm in my car I'm in my bubble things like that so I'm definitely like nervous you know but that's why I'm vlogging because it does make me feel like somebody is with me it makes me feel a little bit more calm and not so like strange you know um like to be alone or whatever so that's definitely like a little nerve-wracking I'm sorry, you guys. My neighbor just opened her window and it like super distracted me. Like, cause I just saw her. She's wearing like red, so like she stood out. But anyways, um, we're gonna head now to the Dollar Tree. I don't. I mean, I'm sure there's the closest one is like not too far. So we're gonna go to the closest one. Like I said, I don't like doing things alone. So I definitely don't like going out of my comfort area alone. I definitely don't like going to certain areas alone. Like certain neighborhoods. Ugh, that gives me nervous. 18 minutes? What's the closest? You guys, since I've been going to the gym very consistently, I have callus. Yeah, like honestly, you guys, I get so nervous going alone. Like I was second guessing it. Like I was like, should I go? Should I not? But then I'm like, girl, you are grown. You can go by yourself. So, we're gonna head out now. I think I'm just gonna go to the Dollar Tree that I know already. Just because, like I said, you guys, I get nervous going out of my comfort area. I kind of had that idea already. Like, okay, you know, you're gonna go to that Dollar Tree. So, like, kind of be mentally prepared for that. So, we're gonna head there now, you guys. Um, yeah, let's go. So, we just made it to the Dollar Tree. Um, traffic was pretty good. Nothing crazy. Um, 
and so now you guys i'm about to walk in but i have to pee all of a sudden i drink i finished drinking my coffee because i did bring a little bit i had a little bit left but i just finished it uh i got parking pretty fast it was like right away as soon as i got into the shopping center um but i'm nervous you guys i'm super nervous i'm not gonna take my camera inside because people are gonna be like what the hell is she doing so i'm just gonna leave my camera in here but i wanted to um just check in with you guys and let you guys know that i am here hopefully we find what we need here or else it would just have been a waste um so hopefully you know hopefully fingers crossed we find everything that we need here so yeah let's go i'm gonna vlog on my phone like i keep saying i'm just so nervous i feel like i'm like prolonging me leaving the car ah, i don't know how i feel okay okay we have to go we have to go i'm sweating you guys i'm sweating I have a lot of party stuff here, which is super cute. But I don't think we need any of this stuff. Um, some man just approached me like as I was getting out of the car. Talking about some ice beautiful heart, you're blessed. Off to a great start. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for raffle tickets. I see post-it notes. I'm in the like school supply section. They do have a lot of stuff here, so I'll give them that. I feel like it should be right here, but I don't see it. I'm sorry if I'm whispering, you guys. I just feel like the aisles are so close together. Um, you guys, I don't see it. We have these uh, little books, but I don't have the raffle tickets. I am back home now my face is all red because it's actually really hot out today and of course I wear this thick sweater shirt situation it is now 2 or 3 I am now with the doggies I already took them out traffic wasn't bad which I have like I would say a little bit of anxiety driving that I think I can say I have obviously I haven't been diagnosed with it because I haven't gotten like I haven't gone to therapy for that or anything like that but oh my god like I remember before um, when I would have to drive you guys I would literally all night clench my jaw and when I was sleeping I would clench my jaw and then I would wake up and I had excruciating jaw pain I didn't vlog anymore because my friend actually called me because he's helping me out with my aunt's baby shower He called me and we were basically on the phone the entire time I was uh, at the Dollar Tree which helped me out a lot you guys I guess I didn't feel as uncomfortable because I had obviously a familiar like voice near me even though nobody else could hear him But it's more like you know your your own thoughts and your own like mind or whatever also I didn't keep vlogging vlogging because um i kept going up and down the aisles and i could not find the raffle tickets so i just came to the conclusion that they didn't have raffle tickets i was like okay i guess we gotta move on but i did find these foam boards or like foam boards um which we're gonna need for like decoration purposes and then the craziest thing happened so we were actually i was actually paying so i was already leaving and i was on the phone with my friend so like i'm telling you guys i was on the phone with him the entire time i was at the store so we're on the phone and then all of a sudden i hear a lot of ruckus right i hear a lot of ruckus and then i hear an employee saying you need to get out like you need to leave i was like uh what the hell is going on so then i can kind of see from afar this older man he's like bald or whatever short and he's like saying something and i see her looking at him so i know she was talking to him and then i was like what is he doing and then i tell my friend oh my god like something's happening and she just kept saying that like you need to get out of here you need to get out of here and then i was like oh my god why is she kicking him out like what's going on and i'm not gonna lie he did look homeless so i'm like oh this has surprised something to do with him like trying to take something he had had a couple i think they were they look like boxes i don't know of what they're like these white boxes um and he was trying to take them i'm not sure if it was candy or or like some type of food i'm not sure exactly the employee was very persistent she was like you need to get out of here you need to get out of here um and then like so then since she was being very persistent he starts cussing her out like f you b like you need to leave me alone like i'm still gonna steal from you like that's why i stole from you and then he was like what he was like i think this is funny like i do this for fun like things like that just going crazy and he's yelling all of this and he was like what he was like i don't care he was like i find this funny he was like you trying to stop me i find that funny like that i'm still gonna come back he was like and i'm still gonna steal from you like things like that and then like obviously i think on his way out 
is when he started making more noise because he started throwing stuff like things that were in his way he just started throwing them and obviously i think the girl like approaching him did like shake him up a little bit so he ended up dropping a few of the things that he had as soon as he like stepped out of the store and he was like um behind the glass doors of the store he take he unbuckles his pants and he takes off like a belt or something like that and he starts pushing whatever he had stolen like the boxes that i was telling you guys about into his pants so he was stealing and i was right down on the phone my friend oh my god girl like they just stole from me here and he's like cussing her out and i was like telling him he was like yeah girl i can hear because he was yelling like when he was leaving he started yelling and then when he was outside i was like oh my god like that's crazy i mean obviously when he was stealing i was like ooh, but then when he started yelling and like saying all these like bad things to this girl i kind of felt like oh, okay this is way too much my friend was like girl get out of there <laughs> like i hear him he is yelling like i said you guys i don't really go by myself and it was like such a learning experience and i get so freaking nervous like, i get so nervous so honestly the the fact that i was able to go and everything i was like girl you have to buy something so you guys i'm, I'm gonna eat these pepas they're cashews bon appetit